water? Great motivational week for us coming in, playing back because we, we got a little rivalry right going against them. And, uh, we knew they were undefeated. We knew that they were the probably the best offensive team in the, the conference. So I mean, we just went to war and they went to war and we just came out on top. What'd you guys do defensively to shut them down so much, especially in the first half? Um, put this guy in the best play. <laughs> that's that's our our go-to defender, and um, I don't think they've seen that much the type of defense we play throughout the season. They play the kind of leader defensive teams, and uh, I think we just got after them when we took them out of things they like to do. So overall, the defensive pressure, I think, just threw them off. Of it. You guys have been a solid defensive team the last two years, really. But this particular season was that your best defensive performance of this particular season in your minds? Um, yeah, I think if not in, up there with our best right. defensive efforts, but um, I just think that, like you said, this was a motivational week for all of us from the coaching staff all the way down to the players. And uh, every practice we had, we just had emphasis on going back to defending. And uh, we know they got a lot of sets, so defending screens, you know, uh, trying not to go under them, try to go over them, and try to run them off the three-point line as much as possible, get them to put them up, put them on the ground. And uh, once we get them, once we kind of speed them up and get them out of their offense, then we just finish it with a, with a defensive rebound. Daniel, what what, uh, what was it like out there in the second half when you guys really started clicking with the fast breaks? How, uh, how was that feeling out there? It was there? beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it was going back to basics like we like to do. You know, uh, obviously we're uh, we like to run. We like to get out and run. We're a transition team, and uh, we got a lot of advantages on that end. You know, when you got uh, Bonja running, and uh, as well as myself, and even. Old man Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things are beautiful. And once everybody's running the lanes, then everybody's clicking. And um, it just looks good. And we had the fan support, man. The kids came back. Yeah. The students that was gave a us big. a motivational boost because uh, over Christmas break, it was kind of just uh, alumni and the old folks. So, Which we still appreciate it. Yeah, we still love them, but I mean, what did you guys think of Sims to Kembe Mutombo finger wave? That was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that was wonderful, and I was I was surprised. He did. Yeah, he brought it back. He brought it back. That's yeah. the first time I've seen that much emotion from him. Yeah, I, I loved it. Yeah, if Sim hits the floor and gets a bloody nose, it's definitely it's, a great day. Yeah, <laughs> if he gets a wave and a bloody nose, it's, it's a great day. I just feel like um, if you maybe limit the turnovers and. They, they had 10 offensive rebounds in the first half, so yeah, it seemed like those two things you really took care of in the second half. Yeah, well, basically, that's what, why they stuck around a little bit in the first half, uh, because late late, late shots were, late, uh, were long rebounds and uh, we made them man the box out, so uh, they got a bunch of second chance points, but we made that emphasis at halftime. Uh, they got away with a couple threes at the end, but overall, I think it's really Tyrone, you guys uh, went on similar runs during the middle of the season to close the season the last couple of years. How much is that experience helping you to stay motivated and to keep your heads on when things weren't going so well? Well, earlier? It, it's definitely a plus uh, for the younger guys especially because uh, they they might be down and out, but uh, the older guys kind of shed some light on them because we've been in the similar positions before. Actually, I think my all, all four seasons we've kind of been clicking right around this time and we've been getting things going. So I just told them to hang in there and just, you know, Keep grinding, keep fighting, and working on some levels. You got a lot of confidence to get to the that you guys can get to the tournament most again. De- most definitely. Did you feel like? Um, did you seem like if you, if you you seem more comfortable with Medlin maybe trying to drive and create for other people yes. than spotting up the three. Definitely uh, chasing them around the staggers all game. Uh, that that's a tough job for them. <coughs> the three. So when we chase them off the three point line and he, and he takes in, uh, we got Sim waiting for us. So. Yeah, good luck with that. <coughs> that was a game plan, chase him off the three-point line, because if he gets going from three, uh, he may need to change the game. Yeah, we just got his run from You know, if he starts getting going with a couple of threes, even if, you get, even if he misses a couple, but gets a, you know, a couple of good looks, which we're trying to limit, um, you know, it's better for us. And I, I was just trying to, I, I was just thinking about no matter if I was late for a screen, you know, I was just trying to uh, just run him off the line as much as possible and just learn into our defense. Two more tough games coming up. Well, definitely, uh, this game is a great motivation again to go into the next game. So we still got a work cut out for us. We're not perfect. We're not undefeated, and uh, 
still emphasize rebounding, running, then the turnovers, and then, I mean, who knows what else we could do if we take care of those things. Anything else for the players? All right, thank you guys. Thanks.